I'm so late on this, y'all. Like, I seriously almost didn't release this video, but I got attached to the project I put the work in for it. I decided to go ahead and stick with it. So here is the best tech of CES that I found. You know what, who is this? Who is this walking on through my good shot? And now in the past, I've made it to the show floor and I've been able to check out like a lot of different tech items. But this year, I didn't check out as many. However, what I did see, I did enjoy and that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you. So the first piece of tech I wanna talk about are the TCL phones from a trifold phone to one that can actually wrap around your wrist like a bracelet and then unfold and lay flat like, you know, a traditional phone would. This is literally one phone being bent into like three different formations. Like, could you even see yourself using something like this? I, I think for me, it's hard to say, but I would definitely for sure give it a try. I'm not sure if or when this is even coming to the market, but I can say two items that are coming to the market, and that's the new TCL 10L and the 10 Pro. And there's also a 5G variant as well. Now we don't have much info on these particular phones from them, but in just interacting briefly with them, I can say that I really like what I see here from the screen size and just the quality of the picture. And I'm really intrigued by the cameras up there as there are four of them. We didn't get a chance to like test them out or anything like that, but I'm curious how they will perform, especially because you have, you know, four of them to choose from along the back. Now the back of the 10L model is pretty cool because it has this kind of prism look Look, which I'm a personal fan of. And then there's also a fingerprint reader, so you know what that is an indicator of. But there isn't one along the back or the front of the 10 Pro, so I feel a face scan is gonna be the move on this one. And speaking of the display, I really like where they chose to place the front facing camera, at least from a surface level of things. But overall, the device had a really nice feel and flow. Now, another brand I checked out while I was there is Satachi. I've been using their products for years. The one that I checked out while at CES, though, is their wireless charging pad, because it can charge your Apple Watch, phone, and AirPods, case wirelessly and simultaneously. Now, I just started really using a wireless charger at my bedside because I don't have to fiddle with anything. Or when I'm half asleep, I don't have to mess with a cable to take my phone off the charger. There's even these LEDs along the charging pads to indicate the devices that are charging and those that aren't. But in addition to this, they have a lot of desk accessories that offer like a really modern and simplistic look. They all have a color scheme and just this really nice classy feel. I was even impressed by this little small portable Apple Watch charger that they had. But in moving on, I also got a chance to check out LG. They had this massive monitor setup in which you could do this like arcade driving game and yeah, that just took that experience to a whole nother level. My driving on the game was still garbage, but it made it fun in the process. But the thing here is with the low response time on these monitors, everything was super smooth and the picture quality was great at 4K. One of the monitors even had these little glowing LEDs on the back, but what I really liked was our workstation monitors and the LG Gram. So one monitor was on an ergo stand that just made moving the monitor into any position super easy and effortless. I think the monitor that really piqued my interest uh, was their 38 inch ultra wide monitor with the curved edges. So I'm definitely eyeing this one or something like it, you know, with the 4K resolution or more. And their laptops, like I mentioned, were really nice as well. Like I've never really interacted with the LG Gram until now. They had different size options, but I wanna say it was a 14 inch one. That one? was so lightweight. Like she told me before I picked it up that it was super light. Even in knowing that it was light, it didn't prepare me for how it felt. Which is one of the things that makes it really appealing because sometimes you wanna carry, you know, a computer but not the weight of it. And with this one, you can maintain like the size and the operating system of a computer, but on a much lighter setup. And then speaking of weight, we gotta talk about Delta. So they actually had a booth out there. I unfortunately didn't get to see as much of it as I wanted to. I did hear and kind of get a glance at some of the really innovative things that they're doing but one thing I did get a chance to check out was their uh, machine I think called the Guardian it, it made me feel and look like an unstoppable robot because it lets you lift heavy items with basically no effort at all because the machine is doing all of the work so after I got strapped in they had me lift this like 50 pound suitcase with the machine with the Guardian mode off yeah, I, I struggle, y'all. I struggle. Don't you judge me. And, but then they turned it on and they had me try again, and it was night and day. If anything, I had to, you know, control my strength. I had to move a little bit slower because it was like picking up a piece of paper. Now, although I just tried out an arm, they have entire suits of this. And it's something like this that's going to improve the way, like, luggage handlers handle your suitcase, as it can improve their health, it can put less strain on their bodies, it can even enable the elderly or those that may have the mental capability 
but not the physical capability to perform a job that requires them to lift, you know, heavy payloads. But moving right on along, I also got a chance to check out Lenovo's booth. They're doing some really big things. They showcase this ThinkPad Fold, which can collapse down with the keyboard inside of it or it can open all the way up into kind of like a tablet mode, all while still running a full version of Windows operating system. And the crease that some of you might be looking for was pretty much non-existent, which makes it even nicer when you think about enjoying a movie or something like that up here. There's just like no distractive design elements. They also showcased their Razer phone. This took me back. But it was even cooler that you could make the new Razer phone look like the old school Razer phone. Functioning buttons and all. Y'all remember the T9 keyboard? Like when you had to press a number multiple times to get to that one letter. Oh my gosh. Thank God we have evolved. <laughs> now another brand that I checked out is Monoprice. They had a suite of all types of different tech items offered at affordable prices. But the one that really grabbed my attention was their 3D printer. I've never really been into 3D printing but this one made me want to learn more. So with 3D printing, you can create these cool little figurines and I see it as something that I could possibly adorn my desk with or use as a prop in a video. I definitely want to get my hands more into 3D printing, but moving right on along, I also got a chance to check out Samsung. Their booth was massive. They had this rotating TV that goes from landscape to portrait mode. They even had this modern TV that looks like a piece of art and it's known as the Serif. Even the box it arrives in can be repurposed, but this is the TV that you want when you want it to blend in with your artwork or the setup of your, you know, decor in your home. Like if you don't kind of want that big obvious console set up kind of around your TV, it doesn't look as techy because it doesn't have all the equipment and stuff around it. But nothing beats the wall. Like their wall TV is the thing that just stops everybody in their tracks. Always has a group of people around it just gawking at it. It's gorgeous. But the infinity screen for me starts to rival that because we're now bringing the design that we're used to seeing on phones into our living room. Now you have this bezel-less TV. And then lastly, but definitely not least, I checked out Aki. I really love this brand as well because they offer really quality accessories at an affordable price. But what I'm really looking forward to seeing them release that they debuted at CES are their wall chargers. And that's because these particular ones are really powerful adapters, but amazingly small. Like this 100 watt option that is smaller than the palm of my hand. I'd love to carry something around like this instead of my Apple adapter. Some options even have multi ports, which is my preferred method, especially when I'm traveling so that I can charge everything all at once. They even have a new car charger that's really cool because it has like a little sensor on the side where you just pretty much swipe your finger alongside it and it opens up the arms to the mount so that you can place your phone inside. And then when it senses that your phone is in there, it's gonna automatically clasp around it. And I was also wowed at the power of manifestation with my friend Joel here when he tried his hand at winning a prize so uh yeah matter just watch so they got one more prize left you got to pick a key off the wall and if the key fits and turns then you get a free gift okay so can you pick the lucky key out of this lineup mm -hmm. i think this is the lucky one manifest manifest this is the lucky key yep it's right here you go uh-oh oh that's it that worked Woo! Wow. Joel, I'm so proud. There you go. There you go. I know him. <laughs> so all in all, it was a really good time. I got a chance to connect with some new faces and some familiar faces. I was updating you all occasionally on Instagram and Twitter as well while I was out there. So if you don't follow me up there, you can feel free to, you know, go ahead and do that. But yeah, I, I think that's going to sum this up. I feel like there's more I want to say, but I can't find what I want to say. So I don't know. I guess if anything else comes to mind, I'll throw it up in here or drop it down below in the comments. But until the next one, as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out. Next up. The internet's most smoothest voice. <laughs> <laughs> very white, the very white right, tech. Right, the very white tech. going on it's your girl Ashley from that modish life we are currently headed to LG she doesn't know that I'm recording this it's gonna be awesome when she sees it because she's gonna have a drop for free see you in the next one